After the last bond clean I did, 27 hours. The worst unit, and apparently, like, like they knew it. I didn't know it. I walked in to, you know, have a look the first time, and I, like, I didn't see what they knew was there awaiting me. I just, like, innocently walked in like it was a normal clean, and I was like, yeah, I'll do this, and then I went to do it thinking I'll do it naively in two days. It's still not clean, apparently. I've been asked to come back. I don't want to go back there. Oh, that's where the roaches live. I'm going back to the unit to find out what it is that I missed. I really hope it's not the drain. This bathroom, this shout is really gross. It's just a lot of gross. I gotta tell you, I really underestimated that second toilet. Wow. Bad. And I even saw it and took photos of it, but when I started cleaning it, it was like next level stuff. Wow, and the shower smells. I don't know why the shower smells. I reckon it could, could be the drain. That stinks. I don't know why that stinks. I'm stressed about going there, and I don't know. They didn't tell me what it is that I missed. So since they didn't tell me what it is that I missed, I've had to bring every single cleaning item that I could possibly imagine could be the problem. And they said I missed a few things. So it's like I had to bring a few possible items. So I'm going to this house that's got nothing to do with the unit. Like that's one entire bag full just to do this house. And then I got another type full bag full of maybe this is what's wrong with the unit. And then I got a crate that's full and I had to bring some lunch. And then I had to bring the stepladder just in case something is wrong with the roof. And I had to bring a different mop and several mop heads in case the mopping's the problem. Put my steamer in case I have to steam something. Oh, if it's the drain in the bathroom that's stinky, I don't think I'm supposed to like pop them out to clean underneath. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Like that's sort of like taking things apart. Anyway, this stupid one is like already taken apart. It's like just falls off, so I just put it back on. So, but if it was glued on the way it's supposed to be glued on, well, I wouldn't pop that off. So why would I clean under it just because it's broken? It doesn't make any sense. I heard that the maintenance person is supposed to take care of a stinky drain. So I'm like, why would I want to clean it? Couldn't pay me enough for that. I reckon it's worse than a really bad toilet, blood and vomit. I'm not afraid of hair. It's just the smell of it. Anyway, I've got a really good gas mask. I've been Googling like Drano and like cl drain cleaners, but it's not a clogged drain. So it's like, not. A, don't want to, unclog the drain they said maintenance is for that so like what am I gonna do with the drain why is the bond cleaner coming in for the drain obviously they want me to clean the gunk why is everything for drain cleaners about unclogging I just want to clean the gunk like just clean the stuff that's actually visible I don't I was trying to find a cleaning product that doesn't require touching it that just requires pouring something on it just disintegrates if the stuff that sits on top is what clogs the drain and these chemicals get rid of the clog shouldn't it get why would you pick out the gunk when you can just pour it on and walk away oh the sensory issue is real oh i really got myself into the thick of it here and now i don't fear gross excrement on toilets i mean i would gladly be into my elbows in some excrement today rather than this drain with the bugs i never wanted to change a nappy in my life now i'm thinking that's a walk in the park and muscle through whatever comes at me Anyway, I'm having one of those days. Might have to clear this drain. It's like a watering hole. I bet you all the bugs are in there. So when I pull stuff out of the drain, all the bugs will come out. Oh, it's gonna be an episode. Ooh.